So I feel like uh, the pictures aren't very clear on what it is that you're getting. So this is showing them all lined up here by size. We've got three saucepans, excuse me, Mako. We've got three saucepans, one in each size. Then you've got two of like the tall-ish cooker pans that are very much like the saucepans. They really aren't that much different except the corners are slightly squared and you get lids. One of them has a handle, the medium one, and the large one just has the two handles instead of the long handle. And on the small size, you get a taller kind of saucepan. So it's taller than the other two. And I'd say it's probably um, maybe four inches tall instead of the other ones, which are probably three inches tall. And it also has a lid. Then you get a deeper saucepan in the small and uh, uh, an even deeper saucepan. And this one has a handle and that one does not. I think some of these are kind of repetitive. I could probably do without this one and just have that one and be fine. Oh, and my daughter wants to show you this one. This is like, you know, kind of a nice big spaghetti pot and everything, so that's great. Um, I feel that, that one also has a double lid. I feel like this one here is kind of unnecessary because this pan, because it's big, it's taller than the other sauce, the other uh, pans. And so it ends up being almost like this. It's about a half inch difference in height. I just don't know that you really needed um, this one or that one. But, uh, you know, it's nice to have the variety and in case you need to put in multiple things that require that. And you can see here, this is a nice square, deep edge, and this is slightly more rounded like the saucepans, but it's uh, you know, not, not too different. All right, and uh, then you get this middle one here. I just want to let you see the size. It's also squared off, much like this one right here. So these um, click into place here. You can see there's a little notch. And that's what allows them to stack up. So I'm gonna stack them up now so you can see how they come out. And now here they are all stacked up by size. So I stack the large ones, the medium ones, and the tall ones. And I think if you want to, you could even take this lid off and pile those in there, although they wouldn't uh, be suspended by the notch as well. Um, the lids are great. They're super thin, which is nice. And that's why they're so easy to stack up even three together. Um, I will say that the top, the large lid, for some reason, does not have a finished rim on the inside here, and uh, the, it's kind of sharp, so that's probably one that was accidentally made that way, and because the other ones are all not sharp at all. Um, so just check yours, and if you feel like it's sharp enough to be dangerous, go ahead and get that uh, returned. I'm sure that the company will be great about taking it back. And these can even be tossed in this one, but of course, you risk scratching the bottom. The great thing is these are... With the notches, they're suspended off of the bottom, so they're not gonna scratch your nonstick. Um, but if you wanted to, you could put these carefully in there, maybe with a little piece of cardboard or something, or a little layer of uh, um, kitchen mat. That way you're not scratching the bottom, and then you can have an even tighter fit.